This video will demonstrate how to hide columns in an Excel workbook using the library from Python called OpenPyXL. In this testing workbook, you can see eight numbers in the first row. I will be using Python to hide columns B through E. First, I bring my workbook into memory using the load workbook function from OpenPixel. I then assign WB my workbook, and then I select the sheet I'm working on, assigning it WS. I will then be saving my work in the cell below. Each worksheet has a column dimensions attribute that houses properties for a provided column. One of these properties is hidden. Executing this cell is going to tell us one of two things, that the hidden attribute is true that it is hidden or false that it is not hidden. And right here, we can see that currently it is false. This column is not hidden. Making column B hidden is done by simply changing the value of this attribute to true. So let's assign that right here, and then we will save the document and reopen the workbook. And here you can see column B is now hidden. If we want to affect multiple columns, all we have to do is pass a list of column letters to a for loop. Let's say we want to hide the next three columns, columns C, D, and E. I'll bring over this loop that I've already made that goes through each letter and accesses the hidden attribute of that column, columns dimensions attribute, assigning each one to true as we loop through. Let's run it. I will save the document again and reopen. And now we can see that in addition to B, columns C, D, and E are also all hidden. Now, if we ever wanted to unhide a column, we can simply assign that hidden attribute false. Let's go ahead and unhide just column B. I'll save it. And we'll reopen. And there you can see that column B is now being displayed. So it's quite easy. All you have to do is access the worksheet's column dimension and then specify the column you want to look at and access that attribute's hidden attribute and assign it to true in order to hide the column. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful and informative for you. Please do hit subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this one and drop in a comment below letting me know what other features of Python and OpenPyXL you would like me to review in future videos.